example i am a software engineer so i would type occupational software engineer and similarly if you are like a businessman or if you are hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another new video so in this video i'll be showing you guys on how to fill the thailand visa on arrival form so the advantage of filling thailand visa on arrival form before you fly is that you will be able to save a lot of time guys trust me i've been to thailand many times over the past few years and when you fill the form at your home and take it along with you when you fly to bangkok or pattaya or phuket or anywhere in thailand you will save a lot of time because uh, each flight is about 180 people like when you're flying in thai air asia or uh, even if you're flying in thai airways it's about 180 to 250 people and all the 180 to 250 people when you're flying from india majority will be indian citizens so there'll be a lot of rush in the immigration to fill this form to to get hold of a pen and there'll be a lot of queue even to plug the form out of the pin so to avoid all those things today in this video i'm going to show you how to fill the thailand visa on arrival form this is the latest form guys i'm shooting this video in july 2023 and it's the latest form available you don't have to worry the visa fees is 2000 baht which is available in the visa on arrival form they will not reject this form you can fill this form stick a photo and carry along with you when you're flying and directly go to the visa on arrival counter which would save tons of time uh, to you guys so uh, trust me fill this form and take it along with you it will save a lot of time um, a lot of time a lot of time in terms of this um, visa on arrival process and my only request before i share my screen and show you the process is do not skip this video guys i've been telling you guys in every video if you skip this video you lose information so my only request is do not skip this video watch this video till the end because you may miss some quality information so I, i'll without wasting any time i'll share my screen and let's get started Hey guys, I hope you can see my screen. So just go to Google and type the following visa on arrival form Thailand PDF. So once you type this, I'll, I'll try to link this in the description as well. Just copy paste this in Google. And once you click on this, you will get several forms like you will get uh, Embassy of India, Bangkok, then TM.88. But this is the official uh, website, the immigration board, God, uh, dot co dot th is the official form in thailand so just click on this so when you click on this uh, why i tell you this is the latest form is because visa on arrival fee is 2000 baht which is the latest uh, visa on arrival form so here i'll be explaining you this one by one please do not skip this video guys try to wait try to watch this uh, till the end you can take a printout of this i'll also link it in the description below you can take a printout of this uh, go directly uh, carry it in your flight so it will be very very easy for you and it will be a very hassle free experience so here just uh, uh, just uh, give your details as per your passport that is family name first name and middle name and it will be uh, like just as per your passport that is uh, uh, your family name first name and middle name would be uh, just copy based on the passport and nationality would be indian and uh, the passport number is passport or traveling document number is the passport number and the date of uh, a date or and place of issue again you will find this information in the passport itself your date of birth in the passport itself your expiry date in the passport itself and your flight number you can leave it blank and you can fill it at the time when you board the flight so every uh, boarding pass will have a flight number that you will be able to find it in the boarding pass so you can uh, fill this in the well, when you can fill this in the plane itself and occupation like for example i am a software engineer so i would type occupation as software engineer and similarly if you are like a businessman or if you are any other profession you can mention the same but uh, i try to mention accurate occupation as much as possible and your permanent address so permanent address is your address in your local city in india so for example i stay in bangalore so i would be giving my bangalore address in this particular column and then address in thailand this is very very important guys so the hotel that you book that address you will be able to find it in google and that address you will actually have to fill it here like for example let's say i open page uh page sorry page then hotel pataya so i would find an address so this would be the address so this is the address of the particular hotel and this is what you need to fill in your visa on arrival form and there are high chances of uh, people actually verifying this particular thing so please be cautious so uh, give your uh, give your address in thailand as per your hotel booking and name and address of the person reference in thailand so um, you can just leave this blank 
uh, for now because if you don't have any name and address of the person reference in the LN, you can leave it blank. I usually leave this blank. I do not. Uh, I do not fill anything here. I just leave it blank and uh, uh, just submit the form. So if accompanied by minor children traveling on the same passport, please give the name. So if you have a newborn child uh, and if you have a minor who is traveling on the same uh, same passport as yours, so you can fill the details here. And that's pretty much it. The signature and date. So you have to just put your signature and uh, put your date on or off arrival. Let's say you're traveling, you're going uh, to uh, Pattaya, like let's say Bangkok, so on airport on 17th of July. You just have to mention 17th of July. Then for official use, this is for official only use only guys. So do not try to fill anything here. As we can see here, visa fees 2000 baht per person. This is the latest form that I just explained to you guys. So visa fees 2000 baht and Thai currency only. So you you cannot pay these 2000 baht equivalent in terms of US dollars or Indian rupees or US euros or any other currency that is available you only have to provide um, Thai baht of 2000 baht per person and along with this they might charge you 200 baht extra in the name of uh, fast track visa which I got scammed last time there is no option you'll have to pay 2200 baht that is completely non-negotiable and uh, along with this you have to have the photograph which I missed earlier to explain which is 4 into 6 centimeters so this photograph needs to be there and it needs to be there with a white background guys so go to any studio in your city uh, if you're staying in Bangalore, just go to any um, any studio locally in Bangalore and just ask for 4 into 6 centimeters with a white background with a 4th Thailand visa. They will know better and they will give you immediately. So apart from this, you would need to carry 10,000 baht in cash. Uh, that is in 10,000 Thai baht in cash. This is very, very important. This is mandatory. And uh, the one person, 10,000 baht, so it, it need not be in um, Indian rupees equivalent or US dollars. It has to be in Thai baht. Please, please remember this information. A lot of you guys questioned me in on my latest video and been asking me in the comment section regarding what is the uh, how much Thai baht we need to carry or do we need to carry Thai baht? Yes, you need to carry Thai baht only and it needs to be equivalent to 10,000 Thai baht. So that's pretty much it guys and uh, if you're booking the hotels, try to book the hotels in agoda.com or booking.com. Do not book any shady, do not book any shady website guys because they will not accept it and you need to have the return flight tickets and the hotel bookings for your booking, for your um, for your trip and you might be traveling to multiple cities like Pattaya, Bangkok, Phuket, Krabi, Sankoi, somewhere etc. So for all those things you need to have hotel bookings, you need to have flight reservations and also the return flight uh, booking is compulsory. So please remember this, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me on Instagram for immediate response and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.